good morning and welcome back to the basement. Except we're not in the basement. We're in my Ford pickup. And I need to get this knob off of that shaft because this shaft is far too far to the right and I'm either going to bend it over to here or perhaps, I don't know, perhaps it can be adjusted or set in there. It dog legs up and to the right and I'm going to, by whatever means, get this knob to move over here so that there's more room to put a console and a drink holder and such here. Having said all that, this knob is press fit onto this shaft. And looking on the web, people talk about heating it up with a heat gun and doing different stuff. And I'm going to go what I think is a much simpler route. And today, we're going to make a quick and dirty gear knob puller that will clamp here and lift that right up off of there for us. So let's reconvene down in the real basement and take it from there. So to get this knob off, up inside here is a splined shaft and it's just a friction fit here. To get this knob off, we need to hold this still and get this to move upward. So we need to push between there. So we need something that can grip this shaft and hold it still. And as it turns out, we already have that, which is from a flaring tool, regular plumbing flaring tool. This is a 5 8 collar right here. And the shaft is just a smidgen under 5 8 So I will wrap this with a little bit of burlap or duct tape, some kind of a heavy cloth that will allow me to compress inward but will leave the shaft itself unscarred. And then we need something that can go in between here and a way to push it that direction. And what we're going to use for that is a steel plate. The steel plate can sit right here and it can go around this shaft opening here. As you can imagine, it can't currently, but we can simply saw cut it right there. And then it can slide around there and then this part can push upward against the knob. Then you ask, how do we get this to push against there? Because if we can push this against there, then this will push that up. And the answer is a couple of 3 8 all-thread bolts. So all we have to do is drill and tap that thing, something like that. Put 3 8 all-thread through, like so. And when you screw these all thread bolts down, it will push against this brace and the result will send this plate upward and the knob will slide right off. Here I'm drilling just a little dimple into this so that the threaded rod will tend to center on the dimple instead of sliding out. Like so. There it is. Let's see if it works. Well, I had to take it back downstairs and shorten these pieces of all thread a little bit because it's snugger than I expected. But it's nestled in there now. And I think if it does what I think it's going to do, I can just sit and alternately tighten these bolts and it will come right off. There it is, off and pretty much unharmed. I would call the puller a success. And hey, thanks for watching.